What's up, everybody? Bear Gundy Official here, and welcome to 1021. If you guys are listening to this via podcast, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Now, let's get started with uh, this week's movie discussion uh, topic. We have Uncle Drew and Tag. So starting with Uncle Drew, I'm going to be really honest with you guys. This is probably not the best movie to watch unless you're pretty much a basketball fan. I saw it, of course, I saw it, and then I came with someone who wasn't really familiar with basketball, but came with me anyway. Um, for me, as a basketball fan, I thought it was fun, I thought it was it was clever, had some good jokes, had some little Easter eggs that only really NBA fans will really get. Um, and then for my friend who doesn't really keep up with basketball, not so much. It, to them, it was pretty much basketball montage, something dramatic, basketball montage, something dramatic. <laughs> So for me, I gave the movie 6 out of 10 him. He gave it a 5 out of 10, which I thought was fair. Um, really, it's not really a movie you just kind of go to unless you really enjoy basketball, because otherwise I don't think you would really appreciate it. Also not a movie you'd spend $9 to go see in a theater. Definitely wait to go. Definitely wait till it comes out on DVD and just rent it. Don't even buy this movie. It's not really worth that. I don't even think for NBA fans. Um, Obviously, we only went to go see it in theaters because I have the new AMC A-list, which is amazing, and it's definitely worth the nineteen ninety nine a month. This is not an ad. I just really appreciate the new A-list. I think it's better than the movie pass. Um, yet, he used the movie pass. I think it's better. That's up to you guys to decide for a different topic. Actually, next week's discussion will be movie pass versus AMC A-list. Um, so tune in for that. Make sure you hit subscribe again. But either way... Um, Uncle Drew, fun movie, cool scenes, some cool fun jokes. Not really the best movie, so not. I don't really recommend spending the money to go see it in a theater. Now we move on to Tag, um, a movie that's inspired by a true story, which I at first thought was ridiculous, but if you think about it, it's not really the worst thing in the world or the dumbest thing in the world because I'd probably be down for a 30-year uh, game of tag, honestly. It sounds fun, gets, brings you close together, which I do not doubt is um, was the case. Uh, apparently, I'm pretty sure this is still going on, too, because I'm pretty sure those guys who do that game are still uh, going strong. But anyway, the movie, that's what we're here to talk about, was okay. It wasn't as funny as I thought it would be. The story wasn't really as strong. It did turn really quickly. Um, I guess some of the situations are playing tag, you're like, oh my gosh, why would they be playing at that moment? But really, it's not, it wasn't all that clever. Um, I give it honestly a 5 out of 10, just like Uncle Drew. Well, I gave it 6 out of 10, but my friend who gave it a 5 out of 10. So similar to that, um, it's just, it's just okay. I was kind of, movie's only an hour and 40 minutes, but I kind of spent the entire time thinking, man, this is a long movie. Uh, also, some things are kind of unresolved by the movie as well, so it's just kind of just kind of left you hanging there a little bit. But uh, if you, I wouldn't mind seeing it in theaters if I paid. Again, I used the AMC A list. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind paying if I haven't seen it or if I had to pay for it to see it in theaters. But uh, yeah, it's it's honestly it's one of those movies you th you're either really excited to see in theaters or it's one of those movies that you're on a plane and just happens to be showing and you're like, oh, I've been meaning to watch this, so, eh, five out of 10, movie tag. And that's really it for the uh, this week's episode of 1021, uh, movies of 1021. Um, be sure to check back next week for our AMC A-list first movie pass edition, as well as be sure to subscribe again if you have not, and be sure to like this video. We really enjoy uh, having these movie discussions. Of course, this week it is just me, but next week it'll probably be uh, one of my team members as well. Uh, we appreciate you guys taking time out to listen and to watch if you're on YouTube. So thank you guys so much. See you next time.